What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with our subtracting lesson. Today, we're going to be using the standard algorithm of subtraction with no regrouping. But first, let's take a look at who is sponsoring our Instructor Beats lesson today. Our standard algorithm subtracting unit is brought to you by our friends at Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing. If you love bass fishing and you love to kayak, check out Queen City Kayak bass fishing. They're a large tournament series based out of Charlotte, North Carolina that paid out over $60,000 last year. For more information, check out their website and follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Our objective today, today I will be able to subtract three digit numbers without regrouping by using the standard algorithm. But first, let's take a look at uh, what we did last lesson, subtracting using expanded form. Because when we get into the standard algorithm, uh, it's, it's kind of a shortcut. But, and we want to make sure that you actually understand what's happening rather than just memorizing the steps to solve these questions. So when we did expanded form, we need to chop up our numbers. And so we're going to start with 200 plus 30 plus 4. And we are subtracting from that 100 plus 20 plus 30. Three, right just showing the value of each number's digit and then all we did was subtract right so 4 minus 3 was 1 30 minus 20 was 10 and 200 minus 100 was 100 and then we put those back together right we had a 1 in the hundreds place a 1 in the tens place and a 1 in the ones place that's what we did last lesson when we looked at how to subtract using expanded form today we're going to look at the standard algorithm so when we do the standard algorithm, we're actually doing something very, very similar, except we're not writing the numbers in expanded form. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our number out, right, 234. And then just like we did with the expanded form, we're going to line up our place values. Now, the reason this is a little bit quicker, obviously, you can already tell, is I'm not writing out a 100. Right? I'm not writing out a 20. I'm not writing out a 3. I'm just writing out the digits that are in those place values. But it's important that you know this is the hundreds place, this is the tens place, and that's the ones place. Because when we subtract 4 minus 3 and we get a 1, that really is a 1, right? It's in the ones place. But when we subtract 3 minus 2 to get 1, really just like we were doing, we're really subtracting 30 minus 20, which gave us a 10. But we don't have to write the 10 because our 1 is in the tens place. And then 200 minus 100 would be 100. And you can see, right, that I don't have to write out the 100 because I'm just writing the digit and it's representing one, which is in the hundreds place. So this is a little bit quicker way to solve it, but it's important that you don't just memorize the steps on how to do the standard algorithm. We really want you to understand what's actually happening. So if you take a look what, at what we actually did, it's the exact same thing, except we didn't write out the value of each digit. But just as, you, just as we mentioned, we don't want you just to memorize the steps. We want you to understand what's happening. So when we did 2 minus 1 in the hundreds place, we were really doing 200 minus 100, okay, except you didn't have to write the extra zeros because we're writing it in numerical form or standard form for how we write numbers, all right? So this is expanded form versus standard algorithm. You can see the standard algorithm's a little bit quicker, obviously, um, but if you're not careful, you'll just kind of memorize the steps and not understand that really this is 30 minus 20, which equaled 10, not just three minus two. Okay, so we've got to understand our place values, what those place values mean, and how they affect the value of each digit. Let's name the steps that I just did using my standard algorithm. All right, our steps for using the standard algorithm uh, step number one, we want to put the bigger number on top, okay? And uh, obviously when you subtract, you're going to have that menu in on top, or that's going to be your first number that you're subtracting from. So we want to make sure we put that bigger number on top. Step number two, we want to line up the place values starting with the ones place. So just like we did with the expanded form, we're going to line up our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. Now, it's a little bit more difficult to make sure we're being neat using the standard algorithm because we don't have those plus signs on either side of the digits to help us line up our place value. So we really got to pay attention to that today. And then step number three, you're going to subtract each place value starting with the ones place going from right to left. Now, you're really going to be saying that kind of a little rhyme in your head. Um, more on the top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. But we're going to get into that in our next lesson when we're doing regrouping. Today, we just want to worry about focused on going from right to left, making sure our place values are lined up, 
and that we're being neat as we follow these steps. Okay, so here we have our we do problem. Um, so step number one, we wanted to uh, write out our numbers and line the place values up. Okay, now you got to be really careful when you're lining these up that you give you write nice and big and you give yourself lots of space uh, because just like when we did expanded form, we had the uh, 700 plus 60 plus 9. We don't have all those plus signs to help us line up our place values. So you got to be careful because you don't want to end up subtracting the wrong place value. I've seen way too many people do something like this and then they get confused and they do 9 minus 2 and 6 minus 4 and then they put the 7 right here. Okay, so I always like to say the hardest part about math is being neat. Anybody can learn the math we're doing. You just have to be neat. So this is a no-no. Write nice and big. Give yourself a lot of space. Make sure your ones place is lined up. The digits in your tens place are lined up. And the digits in your hundreds place are lined up. And now we go start with the ones place and go from right to left. Nine minus six, more on the top, no need to stop. Six minus two, more on the top, no need to stop. Seven minus four, more on the top, no need to stop. And my answer is 343. Now, that's very quick, and that's the benefit of the standard algorithm. But what we don't want to do is forget that really, this is 9 minus 6, this is 60 minus 20 is 40, and this is 700 minus 400 is 300. You don't want to forget that conceptual part of what you are actually doing when you do this. But this is a standard algorithm. That's how you do it. It's nice, quick, and easy. Let's try a U-Try problem. If you're new with us to the U-Try problem, uh, we are going to pause the video, have you try it by yourself, push play to check your understanding, and see how you did. So go ahead and pause it, try it out, and I see a misconception here that some of us might make that we'll address once you push play, and if you're not ready, you can just wait and do it with us as another we do problem. Hopefully you just paused it and you tried it out. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we line up our place values. So I'm going to write nice and big here. I didn't mean to put that much space, but that's okay. Now, some of you might have put your 20 and your 1 right here. Okay, but remember, we want to line up our place values. And so this goes back to understanding the base 10 blocks and the expanded form. The 2 is in the 10s place. The 1 should be in the 1s place. Just like if we we're doing base 10 blocks, you'd very clearly see that your 100s looks like look something like that, right? And your 10s would look something like that. So it's easy to line up. We've got to remember that the 2 is really 2 tens. So we've got to put it underneath our tens place. If it helps you to go ahead and label these like a hundreds, tens, and ones chart, you can go ahead and do that. Then the 1 needs to be a 1. So it needs to be underneath the ones place. So that's a misconception some of you guys might have. Just make sure you're focused on lining up the place values together and picturing the base 10 blocks in your expanded form to help you. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 70 minus 20 would be 50, so we put our 5 in the tens place. And then obviously, if you don't have anything here, that's fine. You can actually put a 0 here just to help make sure you're lined up if you need to. That's something I might do. So 9 minus 0 is 0, or in other words, 900 minus 0 would be 900. So the difference between 972 and 21 is 951. Hopefully you're able to see a little bit quicker way to do your subtraction, but again, we want to make sure that you understand what you're actually doing, not just memorizing steps. We appreciate you spending your time with Instruct Beats. We know there's lots of different options online. We want to thank our sponsor again, Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing. Check out all our other subtracting and addition lessons. You can check out our addition and subtraction song. We'd love you have we would love to have you do that. Again, thank you so much. Instruct Beats out.